This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Stay tuned to later in the video for all the details. I'm on my way now. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. If you happen to be new around here, my name is Trevor and this is Anna. We are the Delightful Travelers. Make sure to click the subscribe button and that little bell to follow along on our adventures. If you happen to be coming to Montreal and you only have 24 hours, then this video is definitely for you. So we are starting things off in Old Montreal, one of the most beautiful and historic parts of the entire city. We've been to the city a few times now. It's one of our favorites in Canada for sure got some serious European vibes in this area. Can't wait to show it to you. So it should be pretty easy to tell why we brought up the European vibe. I mean, we're fresh into this. We just got here and we're walking around and you can see cobblestone streets, beautiful old buildings, people just eating outside. It's a beautiful summer day too. It so. is. It's hot. I bet you're going to see a lot of sweat today. <laughs> yeah, you probably will. So apologies for that. Speaking of old, if you happen to be wondering how old this city is, it dates back to 1642 and it wasn't called Montreal at first. It was called Ville Marie. But in the 18th century, the name gradually changed to Mont Royal, mm -hmm. which is named after Mont Royal, which is in the middle of the city. We're actually going to go there later in yeah. the video. <laughs> right now, we're also standing in one of the main squares called Jacques Cartier Square, I believe. Place Jacques Cartier. Yes. Yeah, so it is a vibrant square. You're going to be here no matter what I'd say if you're visiting the city. Yeah. There's so much happening here. Normally, it's a lot busier. We are still coming off the tail end of COVID times, but at the same time, this, this square is amazing. For those of you that have followed us for a long time, you know that typically we try to find places that are kind of off the beaten path, not so touristy. This is definitely not that place. It's very, very touristy. You're gonna find a lot of really great, but really expensive restaurants, lots of souvenir shops. But we like to do that once in a while, especially because, you know, we really haven't traveled or done anything super touristy in a very, very long time. We just stopped over to the port and now you can see this enormous Ferris wheel. Kind of reminds me of the London Eye a yeah, little bit. Yeah, I feel like it's Montreal's answer to the London Eye. <laughs> I actually looked up to see how much it costs. It's $25 per person. I don't think we have enough time to do it today, but it would have been fun. I bet you have a really good view from up there. But there's a whole lot of stuff to do down here. Like there's paddle boats over there. There is a pirate ship over in that direction that I think you can go zip lining and like obstacle courses, bouncy castles. But other than that, there's a whole lot of like trucks and food stations. And I don't know, this seems rather new to me. I don't remember any of this cool stuff down here. Yeah, I can confirm 100% do not remember this in old Montreal in the old port here at all. Maybe we just didn't come here. Maybe I have a bad memory, but this is really cool. The reason we came down here is to find a little snack though. So we went over to a food truck called Felix and Norton to get a cookie. In our last video, we were actually trying 10 things that you have to try while you're in Montreal. We ate so many good foods. But funny enough, typically when we are filming a video, we're also doing Instagram stories in real time. And somebody, one of you guys, replied to one of the stories and said, you have to go get a Felix and Norton cookie. So let's try it. Mm. Oh, I mm. don't hear any crunch. It must be soft, huh? A little crunch around the edges and very soft in the middle. Mm -hmm. I think I actually got the caramel cookie because I just took a bite. I'm going to take another bite for you guys because this one is really, really good. Mm. I swear, this had to be big today. There's little gooey caramel bits in there and chunks of chocolate. Dough is fresh. Can we talk about the view, by the way? <laughs> We're right in the port. We picked the perfect bench to have this cookie. Mm. Good start to the day. There's something we have noticed while we're just spending some time here in Montreal. Now, we're coming off being in Nova Scotia where we take, uh, well, COVID was just yeah. treated very cautiously. So like probably more cautiously than 99% yeah. of the world. Very, very strict rules. <laughs> Not many people who come in and out and all no. that stuff. So like Trevor said, we've been there for the past year. So it's a little weird to be in another place. Great, but weird to be in another place. <laughs> but something we noticed is that when you're walking around, people don't seem to like really social distance when you're- like, Yeah, when you're passing them on the sidewalk. So yeah. in Halifax or in most parts of Nova Scotia, and that's the only experience we've had. Mm -hmm. We, when there's people walking down the street and we're all like double vaccinated now, most of us, we still kind of keep some distance. So here it just doesn't seem and to, to happen. And to the point of some people will actually like pull to the side of the street and start walking to yeah. let you pass. <laughs> So there's nothing wrong with that. It's just an interesting observation. Like we notice it, it almost feels like normal times again. And that is as nice, but at the same time, we're just, well, we're just not, not used, used to, to it. it. <laughs> right now we're just on our way to get some uh, coffee. We need a caffeine kick, but now we're coming across, well, arguably one of the most famous churches in all of 
Canada. This is Notre Dame. Look at the size yeah. of this if I bend down a little it's bit. It's a very, very big church. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's closed right now. I have, didn't really look it up, so I don't know if it's just COVID really, must, probably COVID it's related. It's COVID related, But for I don't sure. know if it's open certain days or if it's just closed in general. Yeah. It's absolutely stunning inside if you're coming here and it's open, definitely It's, it's a must do. And hopefully yeah. this, back to the point of the video, this gives you an idea. Down here in Old Montreal, everything is like very close together. Yeah. So if you're downtown where we just were, down around the old section that looks like Europe, this is very close, so you can easily walk up here. We've come over to a place called Tommy, and this is one of our favorite cafes in the city. I think there's a couple of them, or maybe a few of them now, but check out the inside of this place. It's quite the view, there's hangy plants. We got an iced Americano. We need a caffeine kick to keep us going today. Anytime we come to Montreal, we always stop in here. Usually we have our laptops with us and we do a bit of work, but it's a cafe that I think, we think, you have got to check out. So some of you guys might be wondering about the tiny home. We haven't really talked about it a whole lot lately, and I feel a bit bad that we teased you with this whole video about like, our tiny host is coming soon. It's gonna be ready. It's been delayed multiple times. It seems to be the windows mainly, but I think there might be some other things that are delayed. We will do a full video in the next couple of weeks to give you the update on hopefully have more information about it. That coffee is always so good and super refreshing on a day like today. It is a hot one. We're going to move on to our next location, but before we do, let's hear a little bit more about this week's sponsor, Skillshare. In the past few months with our Skillshare membership, we learned about food photography, interior decorating, wine tasting, and so much more. This time we're trying to improve our vlogging skills. Our current class is Filmmaking for All, Tell Your Story Through Video by Dan Mace. Dan is an award-winning filmmaker and a very well-known YouTuber. Through this course, he gives you an assignment of creating a film and takes you through the process of how to tell your own compelling emotional story through video using sound effects, dialogue, music, and editing. Dan gets you to create your video essentially using your own perspective and backyard. You come up with the story idea and he takes you through the process of creating a well thought out and planned video. Skillshare is our favorite online learning community where you'll find thousands of inspiring classes for creators and curious people. Topics range from photography to freelancing and everything in between. Because Skillshare is designed for you to get the most out of all of their classes, there are no ads. They are continuously adding new premium classes and most are under 60 minutes, which means you can learn something today you couldn't do yesterday with classes designed for real life. Every human was born to create. Whether you last picked up a paintbrush or a camera, yesterday or many years ago, you can explore your creativity and be inspired. The first 1,000 of our subscribers to click the link in the description below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your own creativity. A huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and supporting creators like us. Whoever would have thought you can come to the beach right in the middle of downtown Montreal. Not only that, it's right in front of a church. This is called St. James United Church. Here we are up on St. Catherine Street. It's a shopping district, but how cool is this? Look around. There's like sand everywhere and places to lay there. And then you can admire this gorgeous church in the background. Did not know this was here again. Maybe this was here for a while, but this is definitely new to us and would recommend if you're coming to Montreal. Something that Montreal does really, really well, especially compared to basically any other city is their outdoor seating areas. We've been to a lot of cities and nobody does it quite like this city. They also shut down a lot of streets, have them pedestrian only, and they just have like areas set up where you can come hang out, sit down, chill out with your friends. It's really great. Guys, I don't know what is going on with Uber in the city or even taxis. We couldn't find any taxis, couldn't find any Ubers. We were trying to get we Ubers. We tried to get an Uber and it was 20 minutes away and then we canceled it and there was another one that was 20 minutes away. So we decided to walk it. So while well, we didn't even say where it is yet, we came over to the steps basically. What is it called? Peel Steps. Peel Steps on the way to go up to Montreal, the, the mount of yeah. mountain, the hill in the middle of the city. Yeah. But look how much sweat is on me. I don't think you can see Anna. She's in the shade. Ooh. But I am just like dripping right now. So Mont Royal is a hill, but also a park in the middle of the city. There's of course <laughs> lots of walkways you can take, but they'd be a little longer. So we're going direct with the stairs, we'll see how long it takes. Apparently there's 400 of them, and I'm not sure if that takes you to the top. Hopefully just a really good look off. You know what else we'll see? We'll see if we even make it to the top. Honestly, guys, I'm out of breath, severely out of breath from that walk from the city. Break time, huh? Yeah, at least they have these benches and like, <laughs> places to stop along the way. Yeah. But we were just talking about the last time we really did like a big climb that a lot of stairs were involved. Pretty sure it was in Caron in the Philippines. Wow. Basically right before we got locked down there for four months. That feels like an eternity <laughs> ago, doesn't it? Yeah. I've made an observation that I think a lot more people are coming down the stairs yep. than going up the stairs. 
Another observation though is just how beautiful it is here. The green space is out of this world. So lush, thick trees. Makes the climb worth it, but it's quite a bit of work. You, uh, are you uh, keeping count of stairs? Didn't even start. I'm hoping we're at 370. <laughs> I'm hoping for 398, uh, 99. <laughs> well, we made it up to the top, and here's the reason why. Is it worth it? No, <laughs> I it's think definitely it's worth, worth it. it. Yeah, this is an amazing, amazing view, especially this time of day. It's like five o'clock, so the sun is lighting up the city. It's quite nice. Yeah, we've been up here before, but look at this. You get a full-on view of the downtown core. This is the best time of day, I would say. To it come is up a here. great time of day, and I wasn't sure if the stairs were going to lead us right here. I was a little worried that they weren't going to lead us here, <laughs> well, we and we'd be disappointed. That. But it's perfect, perfect spot. Definitely take the stairs. If you guys are looking down there and going like, "Wow, this city looks really big," well, here's the thing: it's Canada's second biggest city by population. Two million people in Montreal proper, and about four million people in the surrounding area. We didn't actually know that. We just had to look it up. We were standing up here going like, this looks bigger than I remember. But that's the thing. Of course, if you had to guess the, what the biggest city in Canada is with the most population, it's Toronto. So one nice thing about COVID, I don't say that too often, but it's coming on the ta hopefully the tail end of COVID. We're vaccinated, but there's still not a lot of people traveling. Canada's just starting to open up. There are some tourists here for sure, but this is the least amount of people I've seen. Here. And you probably noticed that in old Montreal too. Definitely. It's like, it wasn't that full of people, especially around like Notre Dame, and that area is usually packed with people. Yeah. So it's definitely quiet. <laughs> it's kind of nice in, in a way. I imagine for locals, you kind of feel like you have the city to yourself, except yeah. you got to deal with us too. <laughs> So it's the next day. I'm going to explain why that happened. Basically yesterday we walked everywhere. We tried to get an Uber a few times. It ended up being really, really expensive or they were like 20 minutes away and we had to cancel. Finally on top of the hill, we were super tired just from walking everywhere. Couldn't get an Uber. Basically said there were none in the area. Couldn't find a taxi. We gave up, started to walk back down the hill and a taxi went by, we flagged him. Thank thankfully got in the car and he kind of took us in the wrong direction. By the time we uh, got out and got to where we wanted to be. We were really tired, so picking it up here. So I know we called this video how to spend a day in Montreal. Now technically, hang on a second, according to my watch, it's still within 24 hours. And when you can actually get an Uber in this city from where we were on the top of Mount Royal, it's only like a 10 minute drive to get here, which is the plateau. So right now we are up on Avenue Mount Royal, and this is one of our favorite streets in the city. It is filled with graffiti, restaurants. It's a very popular place for locals and young people in particular. Last time we were in Montreal, which was like five years ago, we came up to this area to visit and we just fell in love with it. It's actually one of our favorite neighborhoods in Canada. If you're wondering what it's like, it actually reminds us a little bit of Brooklyn, but in a different way. There's just tons of great food here. It's really trendy, really hip. If you're coming to Montreal, make sure to come up here and don't just go to the touristy areas. So in the last video, we were eating our way around Montreal. It was about 10 must try things to eat. Montreal is very, very famous for its Montreal bagels. They're so good. In the last video, we tried Fairmont bagel. So we tried, figured today we would go to St. Beatre, which is the other very well-known place. It's right behind me. So we always love walking into these bagel shops here in Montreal. This one's very similar to Fairmont. You can see them making the bagels from scratch. We got a breakfast sandwich on one of these classic bagels, sesame bagel. Uh, on this guy, there's some egg, bacon, I think some mayo. Now, I don't know if that's regular mayo. Uh, or not, or their own secret mayo, some lettuce. It just smells delicious. Oh, there's a tomato on here too. This looks awesome. Look at the size of this thing. This is gonna be very messy. You got a couple of tomatoes on here, like I said, so see if I can keep it all together. It's already dripping with all the juice from it. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, look at it inside that. Mm. I probably got it all over my face, but I don't even care. Look at that bagel. I mean, that's the first thing I know is just how fresh it is with the sesame seeds. It just makes for a perfect little combo on this sandwich. The bacon is really rich, very tasty, very salty. The egg itself is good. They probably have these, I would say, sitting around. I don't think the egg was made completely fresh, but it's tasty as well. Good with the tomatoes. The mayo, I think it might be some secret mayo, but Overall, definitely worth it if you have a day here in Montreal. Come by and get one of these sandwiches because you're not going to be disappointed, even slightly. Well, that was an awesome 24 hours here. We started down in Old Montreal, went down to the port. First time for us seeing that with the big Ferris wheel and all yeah. the booths. Had a cookie, had that a was cookie, delicious. Had some coffee at Tommy, <laughs> then we went to, I guess, the newer part, like downtown yeah. area. We climbed a hill, had a beautiful view, and then came to that plateau area. And, and that, uh, that hill is bigger than you think. It is. <laughs> 
<laughs> it takes a, it's quite high and it's a lot of work so just make sure you're in moderately okay shape to do it but it's a lot of fun to go up there the view is worth it but man this city Montreal what is it about this place it's one of my absolute favorite cities definitely favorite city that at least we've been to in Canada yeah. and just one of my in general favorite cities it's vibrant yeah, I love it's it. fun it's young it's delicious yeah yeah if I were you guys and it was your first time coming here and you're into what we're into I'd stay up here around the plateau in the Mile End area because it's easy to get down to uh, old Montreal yeah. you're but, gonna walk it takes maybe 40 minutes something like that so it's not too bad it's yeah. very easy to get around which is great the restaurant scene up here too is just out of this world and if you're foodies like us you're in for a treat now if you got this far in the video make sure to hit the like button leave us a comment share the video hit subscribe if you're not already we'd love to have you follow along because hopefully later this year we're gonna be traveling some more yeah, like the old in a, times. Hopefully in a few weeks from now. Yeah, hopefully <laughs> a few videos from now. Maybe. I, that, that's just almost impossible for me to imagine at this point, but it could be coming soon. I think it's coming soon. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. From Montreal, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.